So I think we need to have a conversation. I think we need to talk about how cryptocurrency, the industry overall, has a problem. And as you guys can see from the title of this article from Blockworks, it's an influencer problem. Yeah, the individuals who create content to pump these cryptocurrencies and altcoins into the market, it pushes a false narrative that every cryptocurrency that's going to be released, that's going to have its own blockchain, it's going to make you a millionaire. It's going to make you have you make you get the ability to drive a Lambo. Let's break this down. Now, the next sentence directly below that title. Apparently, the author think that this is how you're able to fix the problem. The only way to weaken this deceitful system is to starve it. Users must simply tune out influencers altogether. But how can you possibly do that? That's the reason why you watch these content creators is because you feel some type of connection with them and you trust the things that they say or do, especially on a couple of calls that they may have made in some altcoin that made you a, a substantial amount of money. So how can you tune out influencers? Therein lies the solution. How can you do it though? In a place to where the world values attention to where you can monetize attention. How can you get that tuned out? Let's talk about it. Because it's not a coincidence that they got Elon plastered in the front of the article. Because he has massive influence. People listen to the things that he says and does seemingly because of the businesses that he controls. Tens of thousands, not just a couple of hundred cryptocurrencies, not just 50, a thousand, no, tens of thousands of cryptocurrencies are available in the market today. Every one of them is trying to grab your attention, trying to take your money and make themselves rich. Not necessarily you, but make themselves rich. They claim that they are striving for decentralization, yet they fiercely compete for the attention of influencers on centralized platforms like Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, because they understand that that is where value is. Value is not necessarily into the protocol of the blockchain. It's not necessarily into the decentralization according to them, but the technology, that is where the value is. So it's going to have to take a point to where we transition over from the influencer getting all of the value to where these blockchains is getting the value. That is where the long term growth is going to occur within the cryptocurrency space. That is where the altcoins, tens of thousands of them will fall off by the wayside because many people won't follow these altcoins because these influencers aren't pumping them. They're not even mentioning them. So maybe in the next couple of years, these tens of thousands of cryptos will dwindle down to maybe the top 15, the top 20. Or maybe not, because as long as the influencers are able to monetize their content, then those altcoin projects is going to reach out to these influencers and tell them, hey, pump this coin for me. Influencers build trust and credibility with their audiences by only showing the winning trades. This creates the illusion that the influencer is an expert trader with an impressive track record. Be cautious for anyone that only shows you the winning trades and don't offset those winning trades by the ones that they lost. Perception is golden. Especially if you don't know the backstory as to how good of a trader are these people. Look at this. It's another article from Medium. The dirty truth about crypto influencers, the real scammers. Produced January the 9th, 2022. Look at that. Trading educators. Look at some of the verbiage that these influencers utilize. Geez, I've seen some absolute shockers lately. That perks up your ears. You want to listen. Okay, what are they talking about? See how I turned $10,000 into $60,000 this year by buying and selling cryptocurrency. Depending on your situation, 
that automatically will get you to click because you're inclined to see what they're talking about. I was a construction laborer and now I am a full time trader. Join my course, bro, to find out how I was able to do it. Not knowing that the way that they're able to do it is because they solicit to people like you to buy their course. When in actuality, all of the information is already available on Google for free. They package it up in a way to make it seem as if they co value, but they don't. The value is already free on Google. Do my course and become a crypto millionaire. It would be a great documentary if someone had the resources to go out and grab all of these courses, grab all of the people who bought courses and see whether or not they became better traders. Did they see any results from these courses? And to see if they actually became millionaires outside of the course material, right? I, they need to show that they became a millionaire off of the information from the course, not by becoming an affiliate, not selling the course, no, off of trading, off of the information that was released in the course. Show me that you became a millionaire. That is where the dark side of this revelation occurs. Like you just don't know how rich people really became following these courses, buying these courses. Sign up to my webinar and learn how to become financially free in weeks. This used to be a promotion back in the day to where there wasn't no internet. All you had was television. And they came up with those 100, 1-800 phone numbers to where you come in and buy certain courses. It was just simply magnified because of social media and it's quickly accessible because of social media. Here's a tweet or a Facebook, uh, Facebook post. Good day, crypto world. I would like to give a breakdown on a trade made recently on FTM. On this particular trade, I was seeing a continuation pattern playing out known as a bull flag. Listen to the jargon. Look at the words, the terminology that this individual is utilizing to get your attention, to make it seem as if they are a trader, to make it seem as if they are an expert. This is where price makes a significant move and hits resistance and is followed by traders taking profits, moving price down. However, buyers consistently come back to buy in on the move down. Once sellers become exhausted, buyers step in, step back in, and we then wait for the market structure to change. Break in flag downtrend. We then take the trade after price breaks and retest the flag's previous resistance as support. This was a very textbook trade. Very simple pattern. If it's textbook, then why are you charging people to see it? Typically a high probability trade. A lot of people doubt TA, but the results speak for themselves. They do. But I bet you that this individual only shows you the results to where it worked out in their favor. If you would like to learn more about patterns or technical analysis, feel free to message me. He gives you one instance to where a supposed technical analysis pattern occurred. A bullish flag. Real simple, right? Just look for that pattern on the chart. Look at the lines go up and down. Hit support, hit resistance, and once it breaks that resistance line, buy the market. But that's not how the market actually works. If everyone had access to that same image right here that you guys see in front of you, then it has no value. You need to have some type of of advantage and edge that your competition don't know nothing about. If the overall market knows about this already, then it's not an advantage. It's not an edge. But these old, these newer content creators are pushing old information, making it seem as if it's valuable. That is not valuable right there. Because if you see the same pattern formation, and I see the same pattern formation and 10,000 other people see the same information. You don't think the marks won't take the opposite side of the trade and go against you on this pattern. It makes it seem easy. 
But understand, that's not an edge. The blueprint for becoming a trading educator and selling courses is stupidly easy. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. So you guys want to learn how to make money and sell your course bro era? Here it is right here. One, build up a profile by posting the odd basic educational trading analysis, technical analysis on Facebook. That's the first thing. Create a Facebook page and funnel interested newbies to your page that might need to be inviting newbies to your page. Three, post winning trades only. Delete any you were wrong. Yeah, so they scroll down your timeline and they see, well, this, this person always shows their winning trades. Step four, post trade ideas, probably stolen from somewhere else with a bullish and bearish scenario. That way, you are never wrong. This is the playbook. This article on Medium is actually dropping the play on how you can be a seller in courses to bring in money for your own self. This may be better than you actually coming in and trying to trade cryptocurrencies. Sell a course, become a seller of top courses. Step five, push your referral links to exchanges and other paying platforms within your group. Passive income stream, another source of income outside of you pushing courses, outside of you getting ad revenue from the content you place on these social media platforms. Get paid off affiliate links. This play has been ran many times. If you look at some of the cryptocurrency content creators on YouTube, you'll see 15,000 links in the description of the video. Those are affiliate links. Every time you click, every time you buy from those particular links, they get a cut back. Step six, sell your own product. Trading courses, once off income with basic info found in most free or paid courses. All of this is behind a paywall. They build up so much anticipation, so much excitement, so much wonder. Man, if, if they can actually show me all of their trades on social media, I wonder what they can actually teach me. Let me go out and purchase the course. And then you find out that this information was easy, free, didn't garner any benefit for you, but they got you to buy. Step seven, sell your premium service and subscription of daily market scans or private premium signals group. Yeah, that's definitely going on today right now too on YouTube and other social media platforms. Let me alert you on a buy and sell signal. By the time you get the buy or sell alert, it's already late. You already missed out on the move. On the move. Hey, I got nothing to do with that, right? That's what they'll say. But I gave you the signal. That's the name of the business. This is the business of garnering influence. Not necessarily trying to focus and teach you how to trade. They're more inclined to get you to purchase things that they offer. Products, services, subscriptions, affiliate links. And they induce you, they trick you into buying these things off of, hey, I know how to trade. Hey, check out my winning trades. Let's get back to the article. A study highlighted by the Oxford Law Blog, notes that on average, following the advice of crypto influencers results in negative investment outcomes with a worse financial outcome, the more, quote, expert the advisor claims to be. Say what? The more expert that these content creators seemingly are, the worse your returns will be on the investment outcome that they tell you to do. Here it is right here. This is the article that they're talking about. Crypto influencers give poor investment advice and the SEC is taking notice. This was posted last year, November 22nd, 2023. 
One big reason to be wary of social media influencers and their financial advice is that there are potentially they are potentially very bad at it. As our study reveals, we examined the buy and hold returns associated with approximately 36,000 tweets issued by 180 of the most prominent social media analysts covering over 1,600 crypto securities for the past two years spanning through December 2022. So they actually got data. Yeah, Oxford grabbed data from Twitter of some crypto influencers and some of the tweets that they've made. And let's see the results. Our primary results indicate that crypto influencers generally recommend that investors buy or hold rather than sell crypto assets and that such tweets are associated with positive and significant short run returns. However, these investment gains quickly fade away. Returns begin to decline substantially in the first five days after the tweets. Yeah, they have no power to hold the move. Once the tweet comes out, you get a small pop to the upside and then it quickly wanes back down. But they want you to buy the dip. They want you to hold these altcoins for 5, 10, 15 years. There'll be another bull cycle. There'll be another bull market. So just hold on to your altcoins. Well, but you tweeted it out a day ago, went up 30 percent and now it came right back down. Did you sell at the high at the top? The main return from day two through day five is down 1.02 percent, suggesting that more than half of the initial gains are eliminated soon after the tweets are released. Moreover, at longer horizons, Average cumulative returns ending 10, 30, 90 days after the tweet are two and a quarter percent loss, six and a half percent loss, and then 20, almost 19 percent respectively in 90 days. So in 10 days, on average, the return is down almost two and a quarter percent. 30 days, that same investment is down almost six and a half percent. And then in 90 days, it's almost down 19%. These results are even worse for smaller market cap tokens that receive significantly less public attention to protect investors. Yeah, you know those 10,000 cryptocurrencies that I talked about earlier in the video? The ones that you guys don't know nothing about? The ones that probably had influences paid under the table to promote? Yeah. This evidence is clear from these numbers. Crypto influencers on average provide non-profitable investment advice on average. Three other points to note from the research. Let's go ahead and see what this talks about. One, influencers may have a poor record regarding backing crypto investments, but self-described experts are even worse. Roughly 50%, 58% of our sample were influencers who described themselves as financial professionals and experts and have large numbers of followers who trade on their advice. Their recommendations were associated with more negative investment outcomes than any other social influencers. Next thing that they noticed, our evidence is consistent with pump and dump schemes. When promoters talk up an investment in exchange for crypto and then sell it quickly, when the resulting buzz raises the price for a short time. That's what they do. They promote, talk up the cryptocurrency, the moment that is released on the exchange or it goes up, then that's when they sell their stake, which you hold in the bag. However, there are also less nefarious interpretations of our findings. For instance, influencers may simply buy into the crypto culture and believe that prices can only go up <laughs> regardless our results suggest that influencers do not provide good investment advice. It only goes up, right? That's why they tell you to buy the dip because maybe in the next 90 days, prices is going to be a lot higher. Third thing that they noticed, although social media can be a vehicle for crypto misdeeds, it's also important to remember its positive role. Social channels promote information sharing among investors who otherwise might be making investment decisions in the dark. Recent research documents 
documents positive impacts of social media platforms on retail investors in equity markets and my research re and my recent research shows that Twitter can have societal benefits as it can help citizens monitor companies and reduce misconduct. In other words, social platforms don't harm investors. Charlatans do. So it's not the highway to where information is freely shared that is causing investors to lose out on investments. It's the charlatan, it's the scammers, it's the one that's pumping and dumping these altcoins. That is what the research is reflecting. So we can't put the blame on the social media platform itself, put it on the individuals who, to utilize, who is utilizing it as a weapon to instill unsuspecting investors into their camp to where they can grab money from those unknowingly investors. Social media's influence on crypto projects has been well documented. Tweets from prominent figures like Elon Musk has had a direct impact on the market with significant price shifts following notable tweets. And here's the article right here that they use. Check this out. Okay, check this out. Tweet, trend, and trade. The th three step process in order to make money. How Twitter Buzz influences crypto trades. This gave us a couple of examples. And I wanted to show you right here. On January 29, 2021, the world witnessed a staggering surge in the price of Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency initially introduced as a joke, but which has since garnered a substantial following. This surge was notably triggered by tweets from Elon Musk. To understand the gravity of this event, let's look at the numbers. Before the tweet, Dogecoin was traded at two pennies. That's what it was worth, two pennies. However, within the next few hours following the tweet that Elon Musk did, it skyrocketed, skyrocketed to nearly eight cents. This represents a substantial increase of over 300%. Yeah, I guess this is the tweet. I don't understand how people took this as a dose coin promotion, but um, okay, cool, whatever, right? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's a dog on a magazine cover or a an image. He tweets this out. Dose coin goes up 300%. Just the correlation of how people think that this was a promotion for dose coin is asinine. It's beyond me. People try to read too much into what influential people try to promote, right? Or what they're trying to say. What's the secret meaning behind this? Why did Elon Musk post this? Why did he tweet it? What is he saying? Oh, he must be saying that Dogecoin is a buy. And the next thing you know, it was up 300%. A few months later, on May 13, 2021, the crypto community was in for another roller coaster, and once again initiated by Musk's tweet. This time, it was Bitcoin. He tweeted this out Tesla and Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at the great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions transitions to a more sustainable energy. We are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin energy transaction. He did that tweet. Bitcoin was trading at around $58,000 on May the 12th. He tweeted that out on May 13th and experienced a decline of around 19% in one day. Now, can we actually say that this one tweet is the reason why Bitcoin went down 19% in a day? Not necessarily. Same thing with the Dogecoin tweet that he did. We can't necessarily say that this actually promoted Dogecoin to run up 300%. Now, did it have any effect? Yeah, it did. But how can you quantify how impactful this one tweet was to the price of Dogecoin? Leave it to the article you'll think that this is the only thing that caused Dogecoin to go 300%. Not necessarily. That is very hard to prove that one tweet 
a lot of cryptocurrency to go with 300%. Now, was it substantial? Yeah, it could be. This one tweet could have been substantial as could have been the reason as to why the majority of the run up in Dogecoin or the decline in Bitcoin on those two tweets, it could have the majority of the reason as to why it did what it did. And I'm talking about the assets. So this is a problem right here. Crypto influencer problem. And one last thing that I wanted to show you is about what people do on how they make money. Look at the content that they create. Look at it. Get in early. Top five coins for 2022. Top 10 cryptocurrencies to invest in 2022. Grand Stefan, BitBoy Crypto. I don't know who this dude is. That's how they make their money. They don't make their money off of trading. No, they make their money off of advertisement revenue, premium subscriptions, selling merch, and selling courses. Look at this one. You will make billions in crypto. If you want to take advice for something that looks like that, more power to you and I know he's been in the game for a while pumping cryptocurrency and all coins so this is the worst welcome to crypto's largest pump and dump money scheme the crypto influencer and look who they chose yep Ben Armstrong this is how much he charges to mention all coins on his videos. A dedicated review, 35 grand. Live stream mentioned 20 grand. YouTube interview, 40 grand. Take a look. This is how he promotes. This is how this dude made his money. He didn't make it off of the actual investment of the altcoin itself. He made it on the back end. And you guys didn't know nothing about it until it was released. That's how he made his money. So understand that these people don't have your interests at heart. They're trying to fill their own pockets while taking money out of yours. Because if they actually knew how to trade, they wouldn't run to you and say, come buy my course, bro. They wouldn't be reaching out to these altcoin businesses to try to push their altcoins on their subscribers, on their followers. But they do. All right, so just give me your thoughts about it. I just wanted to bring this to your attention that there is a problem in the cryptocurrency space. And it's the people who pumps the cryptocurrencies. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And I'm out.